Well, it is. And uh, like you said, you've been to Eagle, and, and it's smaller now than it was when I grew up. It was quite thriving when I grew up with the peanut industry. But, uh, yeah, you uh, you know, you really don't know at the time how good you are. But it's, you know, it was just kind of what we did. You just kind of play the game. And all of a sudden, the next thing you know, I'm in the big leagues. And, you know, I have a chance to play there for 14 years. I'm blessed to be there. And played on some bad teams and some good teams. And you did some good things and some bad things. But... You know, that it is what it is, and you just kind of accumulate all that, and it sums up a career. Why do you think uh, small Oklahoma towns have been able to produce so many big-time ball players for years? Well, uh, you know, I, I think, first of all, you have to have a desire. And, uh, you know, the baseball as a whole, you see, especially in – I don't get around that much now, but when I'm in major cities and I talk to people and I talk to scouts, you know, it seems like declining. Uh, the kids have so many interests now. And I know from – I can only speak for myself, but growing up in Eakley, what else are we going to do I mean we were farm kids and then it was baseball season in the fall we played baseball and then we played basketball which was actually my first love but I figured out I could throw a baseball 100 miles an hour that maybe I should play baseball but uh, it's just kind of what we did you know we started at seven years old and, and uh, like I said the next thing I know I'm in Oral Roberts and then I go to the big leagues from there and so you just uh, sometimes you just kind of go where life takes you and uh, but I think you know growing up I really didn't realize how good I was until there's a point where there's 12 or 15 scouts sitting in the stands at Equally, Oklahoma, then you kind of figure out that maybe they're there to watch me. And so I'm not a rocket scientist. I didn't graduate from college, but at least I could, I could figure that part out. So. Were you hoping uh, college chose baseball with your, your former team grades? Well, I don't know. You know, that's a tough decision for him. And, uh, you know, I talked to, I've talked to a few A's people about that. I actually just did camp for the A's about a month or so ago. And so they're, you know, they're hoping that chooses to play baseball. But, uh, you know, it's a tough decision. I mean, he's in a unique situation. Obviously, he's a talented young man. And so, uh, you know, he's got to figure out if he wants to get beat up or, or take the harder road to the big leagues, which it will be a harder road to the big leagues. I mean, there's no, you know, there's no beating around the bush about that. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful he'll make the right decision for his life. Which, you know, when you're when you're coming out of college, and you know, I'm sure he's got some good advisors, and I'm, I know his dad's involved, but uh, it is a big decision.